it has been challenging, um, I must say, and uncertainty, I think, is the most worrying. Um, but of sort of we've all had good days and bad days. But I think on the positive side, and there is a positive side, is that um, COVID has given us an opportunity to press the reset button, to reassess our priorities, um, but also to rethink the way we work and we live and potentially transform it moving forward. And also has given us more time to spend time with our loved ones. Uh, sort of enjoy a much slower pace of life, which is a luxury in the modern lives. So I think in that sense has been tremendously helpful. And uh, what it has taught us is that, um, you know, it's, it's important to go back to the basics and really value the things that truly matters, our health, our families, uh, our jobs, um, our planet. Right. And all sorts of the people that make our lives safer and better every single day, and especially more so during a pandemic. I think sort of a little bit the materialism side of things. Uh, I mean, I, I like um, life and I like sort of uh, la bella vita in many respects. But I think now you understand that you don't actually need many of the things that you thought you needed before. Yeah. And it's really sort of now what I spent my birthday a few days back and it was just a nice lunch at home with my, my boys. Right. So it's just you don't need a fancy holiday to feel good. It's just having phone calls with friends all over the place, having that love and human connection and just having a humble cake and two friends coming over. So I think it's really going back to the basics, but being equally fulfilled and happy uh, that perhaps sometimes we lost sight of before the pandemic. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, patience is kind of not my thing. <laughs> um, but I think sort of, um, I think what I'm learning is that it's very important to take downtime. And um, I haven't been very good at it before because I was sort of chasing the new project, you know, learning new stuff. Now I think um, I'm learning that it's important actually to slow down sometimes, spend time with yourself, think about things and reassess the important things that matter. Uh, and also I've learned that I'm actually quite a good baker. <laughs> it's like a baking marathon at home. Our waistlines are under attack, but actually it helps us keep sane. So that's a good thing. And your favorite cake or the best thing you've baked? Uh, carrot cake is uh, by far my favorite and uh, chocolate cake, classic <laughs> with pistachios. Slow down the pace of life, I think. Uh, really appreciate a lot of the things that we otherwise take for granted. Visit my parents more. <laughs> I haven't seen them uh, for a while now. Um, and just sort of also spend more time, I think, outdoors as well. Because sometimes we're just locked in our offices and running from one thing to the other. Uh, but I think outdoors now, it, you see how safe um, it feels and how sane it meant to keeps you. So I think that's also something that... Um, and really keeping sort of always in check on your mental health. Mm -hmm. It really comes to the forefront now when all this uh, absurdity is happening. I think resilience is something that we have an abundance of, and sometimes we don't even know how much of it we have. And I think this um, COVID has really shown how strong we all are individually and collectively, which I think is great. We've seen sort of healthcare workers and frontliners really stepping up and sort of doing the imaginable and during these really difficult times, but also at an individual level, I think we're a lot stronger than we think we are. Um, and then sort of resilience for me is the ability to um, go through the difficulty, acknowledging that this is tough, but also sort of taking time to uh, be positive and optimistic, know that this too will end. Uh, but also sometimes acknowledging that you're just having a bad day and if you want to be a couch potato the day, that's okay. And I do that. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important because sometimes we are under pressure to perform and be positive and sort of always be active and stuff, but that drains more energy when you don't feel like doing it. So I think now we are mature enough and I think and old enough to know that today's not my day and it's okay to be unhappy. Yeah. And then the next morning come and you're full of energy and you move on to the next phase of your life. Mm -hmm.